everyone, I'm going to show you some ideas of how to get your vintage wardrobe started. I get a lot of questions all the time about, uh, well, from people who are, who really love the retro style, um, but they're not quite sure where to start, or they feel a little bit awkward, sort of, you know, trying on their first circle skirt, and it's a bit too eye-catching, and, um, you know, it's all about confidence, really, if you want to carry off this look. Um, I do remember one of the things I struggled with when I first got into sort of vintage style was casual wear. Like it's very easy to go out and find yourself a fancy dress and you know a nice polka dot circle skirt, and um, it's very easy to find the sort of evening wear. Um, but I really struggled trying to find stuff to wear just day to day, just some nice jeans and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to give you um, some styling advice just on some of my key pieces in my wardrobe that I cannot live without. Um, and I do think they are absolutely crucial if you want to start the vintage wardrobe and you want to do it sort of in the day and the evening. So first up, hello Jack. Jack's come to help. Might, maybe he'll model some of the clothes. <laughs> so first up we have high-waisted jeans. Um, now when I say high-waisted, I mean that everything, I mean everything in the 50s sat on the waist as this skirt does. You don't have anything on the hips. You know all these jeans today, they're all sort of hipster style down here, you know, your pubes are hanging out, you bend over, you've got your bum crack hanging out. It's just not for me. So, <laughs> um, high-waisted jeans are an absolute must if you're a vintage gal. Um, I get mine from a company called Freddy's of Pinewood. You can find them online. Um, this style in particular is actually based on what Marilyn Monroe used to wear, which is one of the reasons why I purchased. i um, always up for some Marilyn style in my wardrobe. Um, they're quite wide in the leg, although, I mean, it's quite usual for the sort of 50s look, although you can find some styles on their site that are a bit narrower if that's what you're looking for. I do have some like that as well. And they also have quite large turn-ups on the bottom, which again is quite a sort of retro um, retro look. Um, yeah, I absolutely love Freddy's of Pinewood, so do go check them out if you're looking for this sort of style. Um, so that's the jeans. I would then pair those with some sort of retro sort of t-shirt. Um, this is actually one that I've just had since I was like a teenager. Um, you basically want any sort of t-shirt where the print is high up because obviously you're wearing high-waisted jeans, you're not gonna see, you don't wanna be cutting off half the print. So you want a print where it's more on the bust area, on the chest. Um, so this sort of t-shirt works really well. You can get loads of like really cool vintage t-shirts these days with like nice sort of images and slogans on. I'm actually making some myself right now as we speak. So they'll be available soon on my website. <laughs> so keep an eye out for those. So yeah, some sort of retro style t-shirt where the slogan is high up. Right, so then I would highly recommend, these are not cheap, but I highly recommend a company called Emmy Designs. They're Swedish and they uh, make the most amazing cardigans and they're very very retro vibe sort of with the sort of cable knit patterns high um, you know sort of quite short so they go with your high-waisted jeans not too long um because that's another thing that I did struggle with at first was finding tops that worked with the high-waisted um clothes because obviously you don't want your cardigan coming down here and ruining your look so these cardigans from Emmy are perfect again they're not cheap they are they are over 100 pounds each but I have over the years invested in a number of these in different colours and slightly different styles in the knits, um, some for summer, some for winter, um, and they are an absolute staple. I wear them like day in, day out, so they're well worth the investment. Really, really gorgeous style. So I highly recommend them, Any Des Emmy Designs Sweden. Um, you can find them on Instagram, you can find their website as well on online. So then I would also recommend another key piece, the trusty old leopard print scarf. Now I never used to be a fan of leopard print. Um, my brother used to joke with me that it reminded him of Pat Butcher <laughs> from EastEnders, so I never ever wore for leopard print, ever, um, until recently when I sort of started to take my vintage look a bit more seriously and I'm like, okay, maybe I should actually invest in some leopard print. So scarf's a good way to go because it's not too full on if you don't want to look like Pat Butcher. You can just add a, a, you know, a small little touch to your hair. Um, so leopard print scarf, yes. Um, and then finally, shoes can be a problem when it comes to casual looks. I would recommend some saddle shoes. These are actually what they used to wear back in the 40s and 50s. 
Um, they're super comfy. Uh, they're kind of like brogue style almost, but not quite as fancy. They have like a few holes around the side, these ones, but not all of them do. Um, you can find these online, again, if you just Google saddle shoes or, you know, retro saddle shoes. These ones are by Terry Smith. Uh, they're made in England. I think I got them from a company called morellos.com or .co.uk. Um, these are actually for dancing. Uh, they're great for driving. They've got a really slippery sole <laughs> for spinning around on the dance floor. Um, you can get sort of ones to wear like during the day as well, though, that are a bit more gripped and stuff. So, um, yeah, saddle shoes, great for a 50s look. So here I am with my finished look. Um, this is my outfit, my Freddy's jeans, uh, my Popeye retro t-shirt and my Emmy Designs cardigan and my leopard print headscarf. I haven't put my shadow saddle shoes on because I know you can't see them, <laughs> so I'm just going to hold them like this. Um, so yeah, I hope you like my finished look, casual vintage. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. I'll I'll be back with some more sort of styling tips on wardrobe, key pieces and essentials for your vintage look. Um, do let me know if there's anything you specifically are interested in seeing or if you have any questions um, about how to style your vintage wardrobe. Um, I've been doing this for about well over 15 years, probably more like 20 years now. So um, yeah, do let me know. Thanks for watching.